live everyone. I enjoy reading this book, Ruskin Bond Tales from the Childhood. It has three stories in it. I enjoy reading these three stories. Today, I am going to tell you one story called the Thief's Story. This must be about a thief telling, telling his life. Yes, it is. I was watching the wrestlers wrestle and that was when I saw a man who was standing in the crowd. He was very decent and wore good clothes. I went to him and said, you are quite a wrestler. You look like quite a wrestler. There was nothing like flattery to me to break the ice. So do you, the man replied. It shocked me because I was quite thin. Anyway, I wanted to get a job. What's your name? Asked the man. Hari Singh, I lied. I used a different name. Well, in every different town I went so that the thieves could not, so that the police could not catch me. So he, he said that I could cook. Which I lied that I could. But I guess my food was, must have been so rotten because the, the man whose name was Romy, I figured out, picked it up and flung it away to the stray dog and told me to be off. But I stood there, smiling in my most appealed way and he burst out laughing. He said that never mind, he'll teach me how to cook. And he also taught me how to write. And I also learned Two to three rupees every day by posting a letter for him or writing something in the village. One day he came home with a bundle of money which he kept underneath his pillow. I realized, yes, this is the time I steal it. But I was also said, told myself that it would break his honesty trust. But I had to. I was so greedy. My thief past was coming back up to me. I gave up. So carefully, I took the bundle from beneath his pillow and dashed outside. It was raining and was quite cold. I counted my money and realized with the great amount I had, uh, I had stolen, I could live like a prince for a week or two. But I hesitated so much that I missed the 10.30 train. And none of them did I know in the, in the town except for the man I had robbed. I could only sit down in the rain, bitter patter it went. The lightning began, lightning and thunder was acting as if, as if it was calling my name. Stop thief! it seemed to be saying. I realized that he was so honest and trustworthy and he had also begun to teach me and now we were going to start sentences tomorrow sentences in all the excitement i forgot about education there was nothing i could do now picking up the money i said it goodbye as i walked back to the house which i did in then i lifted the cover knowing that this would be my only chance or else Romy would catch me and I would be in prison. Luckily, he only stirred and turned the other side. I put the bundle back, uttering pray, prayers of, of happiness. Then I went to my mattress where I usually slept and slept a troubled night because he would find out. But then he decided that he would pay me. For some reason, and then he began to give me some money. But as he took out a note, he felt that it was soaked. Now, he must have realized everything. I could not believe it. I got ready to be handed over to the police. But instead, he smiled and said, Today we will be starting sentences. I was so happy. I just smiled. And this one... My most appealed one came out perfectly without hesitation. I hope you enjoyed this story. Ruskin Bond has written a great deal of story books. I hope you enjoy reading all of them.
then farewell my readers